In today's lesson, we will be continuing with the idea of solving for the form y equals mx plus b. So you'll be given equations that are not in the correct form and we have to solve for it. And then it's part b. Yesterday, you had short, easy, one-step equations that you had to solve. And now we're going to get into um, some more complicated equations. So our goals, once again, we're going to use the inverse operations to get y by itself, and then we'll just graph the line, which involves plotting the y-intercept, use the slope to get more points, and then graph the line. So in this example, we have 4y equals 2x plus 8. And if I draw my line at the equal sign, we notice we want our equation to be y equals. But this is 4y equals, so how do we get rid of that 4? And 4 is being multiplied by y, so to undo the 4, we have to divide by 4. And that means that you have to divide everything in your equation by 4. So y equals 2 over 4, that fraction can be reduced to 1 half, so y equals 1 half x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. So after you divide everything by 4, my equation is y equals 1 half x plus 2. So I'm going to plot my y-intercept at 2, and then my slope is 1 over 2. So up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And then go backwards, down 1, left 2. and then connect all your dots and you graph your line. So just like the other lesson, but instead of just adding or subtracting, this time we had to divide everything in the equation by four. All right, now we have three y plus six x equals three. Now this is a true two-step equation solving for y equals mx plus b. Because we have to get y by itself which means we have to first get rid of the plus 6. So we need to subtract 6 on both sides. 3y plus 6x equals 3. And then we have to subtract 6x on both sides. Cancel out here. Bring down everything that you have left. So we have 3y equals 3 minus 6x. And now we have to divide by 3 here, which means we have to divide everything by 3. So y equals 3 divided by 3 is 1 minus 6 divided by 3 is 2x. And now, not quite done yet, because we have to rewrite this equation in the correct order. The slope is negative 2x, and the y-intercept is a positive 1. So y equals a negative 2x plus 1. That is my final equation. So we had to subtract, divide, and then switch. Now let's graph this equation. The y-intercept is at plus 1. And then the slope is negative 2, which think negative 2 over 1. So down to right 1 down to right one, and then go backwards up to left one, and then you can connect. All right, last example, negative 4y plus x equals 24. We have to get y by itself. So let's first move this plus x to the other side, which means we have to subtract x on both sides. So negative 4y plus x equals 24. And we have to subtract x and subtract x. So negative 4y equals 
24 minus x. And now we have to divide everything by negative 4. Alright, so y equals 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6. And now this part is a little confusing. I want you to think of this as negative 1 in front of the x. And you're going to look at negative 1 divided by negative 4. Negative divided by negative is now a positive. And 1 divided by 4, we can leave it as the fraction 1 fourth x. And now we just have to rewrite this equation in the correct order. The slope is a positive 1 fourth x, and the y-intercept is a negative 6. So y equals positive 1 fourth x, and then minus 6. So there's my new equation written in the correct form that I can now graph. So the y-intercept is at negative 6. And then you have to use your slope to graph up 1 over 4. Up 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. And then go the other way, down 1, left 4. And connect the line. So there is the full lesson. Just using one step and possibly two steps to solve for y equals mx plus b, add or subtract, and then multiply or divide. And that's it. And then you just have to graph the line. So good luck with the lesson.